hanging in now. He's tasted the power, but Manny's having another big round. He has a great round. I don't know if Barrera's going to survive it, but if he does, can survive this round. And Pacquiao runs out of gas a few rounds later. Pacquiao's going to be in trouble. But if this stays right here, by... everything is great for Pacquiao at this stage right Pacquiao here. Pacquiao coming right through the right hand counter. Landed another big left hand. A wobbly Barrera trying to fend him off. That's the most desperate look I've ever seen on Marco Antonio's face. And Barrera's always been the most vulnerable when he shoots his jab because he jabs and he pushes it out and leaves a gap straight through the center to get hit with a straight left. Pacquiao seems to have gotten his rhythm back together again. And Barrera seems to just still look a little too slow. Even when he's punching, he doesn't seem to have the speed that he once had. Well, compared to Pacquiao, he doesn't. Yeah, the very first round when he came out, Barrera seemingly had speed, but after getting hit with that straight left, seemingly not only has he slowed down a little bit, but seemed like he's maybe a little too cautious even at this stage. Barrera's going to have to find a way to use Pacquiao's superior speed and aggression against him. Barrera's going to have to counter to victory tonight if he's going to be able to win. At this stage, Barrera still looks like he's very vulnerable for that straight left through the center. And more protective than we've ever seen him as he's now definitely trying to stay away and not always able to do it. Now Barrera counters back and momentarily stuns Pacquiao with a one-two. Pacquiao comes back, misses with the right, barely glances with the left. Hard left hand lands for Pacquiao. Barrera seems to have almost conceded to Pacquiao that he can't stand and go toe-to-toe -to -toe because of Pacquiao's fast hands. And now he's just trying to beat him with his Jeff. boxing ability. He's going to have to I find angles. You, Larry. I agree with you. It seems like he's conceded. And Pacquiao's got that little rhythm that still is bothering him. And he punches off of that rhythm. Good uppercut by Barrera. They touch gloves. Freddie Roach, Pacquiao's trainer, said, don't start touching gloves with Marco Antonio Barrera. Don't go in there and treat him like the nice guy and the gentleman that he is. Roach wants Pacquiao to disrespect Barrera, and so far he's done it. He's done a great job of it, too. And every time that Barrera jabs, he draws his right hand to his right side of his head, which means he's very, very vulnerable for straight left. Barrera getting three chances to counter with the left hook, but taking a lot of leather to do it. Barrera's left eye is now starting to swell badly. Manny Pacquiao smiling as he continues to strike Barrera from range. And the world just cannot figure his movements out. Comfy box numbers in the fourth round again. Favorite Pacquiao, particularly the 18 to 7 edge in Power Connects. It's been a power punching festival for Manny Pacquiao in the first four rounds. Quicker than Barrera, longer than Barrera, more aggressive than Barrera, landing harder than Barrera. First Hard round. left to the body by Pacquiao. You know, that rally suggests it's a little early to count out a great pro like Barrera. Still got half a fight to go after this. Well, Barrera's the kind of fighter who can win a fight when he's outgunned, but when he's this much outgunned? Yeah, this, this kid is fighting with so much speed and so much determination. I don't think he's going to collapse going down the stretch. And Barrera just doesn't seem to have the speed tonight. Seven begins the way all the other rounds have begun, with Pacquiao firing combinations and landing them. And he backs Barrera into the ropes and hammers him again. Barrera wincing, the blood dripping into the corner of his eye. And Pacquiao still determined not to let him take control over the fight. Even when he flares back, he's determined to come right back. Barrera desperately trying to land a punch that could stave off this little avalanche coming at him. Perfect word. It's been an avalanche. The irresistible force of Manny Pacquiao. Now we go to the eighth. 
Time running out on Marco Antonio Barrera, who hasn't won enough rounds to really be in the fight and hasn't shown enough power versus Pacquiao to turn this thing around. It's going to be a slugfest from here on in. Barrera understands he can't box for a minute with any move. He's not going to try to box him. He's going to trade. These guys no choice, but he's a hand on punch. And and what's interesting, there's another bad head, but but Pacquiao came back so fast that the referee didn't get a chance to really see it. Marco Antonio Barrera taking by far the worst physical beating of his career. Yeah, he's taking a lot of bad butt shots at the same time, but also the right jab following the left hand is becoming a very effective punch in the fight now for Pacquiao. There may be a second nick over Barrera's eye. Big punches from Pacquiao, and again the power deficit shows as Barrera just backs up, taking those shots. Barrera talking to the referee and saying, what about him? Pacquiao just hammering him. Just hammering him. Right to left. Assaulting Marco Antonio Barrera, mugging him. And about to leave him in the gutter with a lopsided loss. It does seem that the great Barrera has virtually conceded this fight. Yes. Freddie Roach, left again, right the center. trainer, believes that Barrera is ready to be taken out. He's urging Pacquiao to go for it. He doesn't want to leave anything to chance. Here in San Antonio. And what I like about this fight, Pacquiao is fighting with the same spirit and determination. He's not coasting, he's not lightening up like a lot of the fighters I've been recently, which has permitted him to be victim of these so-called bad decisions. He's fighting with the same intensity and determination that he fought with in the beginning of the fight. Yeah, I think if Marco Antonio Barrera is going to make it to the finish line, he's going to have to eat a lot of left hands to do it. Whenever you fight a good fighter, a great fighter, such as a Muhammad Ali, a Evander Holyfield, even a Roy Jones, you have to be prepared for late in the fight that once these guys realize that they're losing, they usually make that desperate move. And you're going to have to keep fighting them back when they make that move. If you slow down, you'll lose the fight often. That's why those guys win a lot of close controversial decisions, because they finish up strong. You have to wonder now whether the rematch third fight with Eric Morales will ever happen for Barrera. Right now, it's very hard to see Barrera in any major fight right now after this show. This is a yeah, man, nice he's taken a tremendous beating. In yeah. fact, my question is, as great as Barrera is, should his corner keep sending him out to take this kind of punishment? That's a good question. It's not well, about winning. I don't, I don't know that his pride would permit him not to, to go to the end. I can't imagine that it would, but he's going to pay a heavy price in these last two rounds unless something changes. And in addition to the straight left, Pacquiao is now being very effective with that right jab coming right over the shoulder, more like a right cross, really. Well, and you heard Freddie Roach saying if you can land a right hook and follow it with the left, you're going to knock him out. So Pacquiao is looking for that right hook opportunity. And Barrera is just eating leather. This is a fight that will shake up the boxing world. Sure will. Barrera is one of the highest regarded fighters in the world. He's an icon. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. One of the Four, most complete fighters five, in the world. Six, one of the most knocked seven, down fighters in the eight, world right at this moment. Hit the belly and he Second official down. knockdown what? of the fight for Pacquiao. He's right on and top of Barrera. Pacquiao was right there as soon as the referee. He looked like Jack Dipsy against Jess Willard. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> I think Barrera almost went down from exhaustion yes, in, in, that, in that occasion. But officially should have been knocked down. But he's taken a lot of left hands. I wouldn't send him out for the 12th round, Manny. No. I don't care how proud he is. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. No, because that guy is not backing off. If you had a guy that was he's holding hurt. Up, Here comes gotcha. Barrera's corner. Barrera's corner, man, is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision, yeah. finally. They could have done that two rounds ago. A great finish by Pacquiao. A valiant effort.
by Barrera in the face of an awesome young fighter. Awesome. We are not going to have to go through <laughs> hearing another decision, which lately has been one of the more exciting parts of the fights we've done. The drama of the decisions. <laughs>